country music fans out there? I love country music and I love country music song titles. And if you love country music, you know, that's what you And then you're in men, so that's what you appreciate there and you're there for. And if any of you need to use the pay toilets, I have some Johnny Cash for you. Don't worry. I'm under the weather. I'll do a Johnny Cash in a little bit here. Uh, from back from uh, Homer and Jethro, remember Homer and Jethro? Yeah. She made toothpicks of the timber of my heart. <laughs> Roger Miller, and, and a great song, but the last word in Lonesome is Me. Absolutely beautiful song. Bellamy Brothers, if you said you had a, if I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold me again? No. Hold it again. Hold it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting too excited thinking about that. George Jones. That's because uh, Bill has sex almost every day, almost on Monday, almost on Tuesday. <laughs> so, George Jones, she took my keys away and now she won't drive me to drink. <laughs> I just can't get over how you've gotten over me. I thought she was out jogging, but she was running around on me. I kissed her on the lips and left her behind for you. Come down off the stove. Come down off the stove, Granny. You're too old to be riding the range. So I'm going to sing a song. I have a friend in. You do? I do. I have, yeah. He couldn't come, so I'm. Uh, but that's the only one. But he had a country song, a funny, funny songwriter who is also a Menson, who's just not here. His name is Todd Chappelle, and he lives in the Northeast of Philadelphia area. I think. If you ever get a chance to see Todd Chappelle. Anybody familiar with that? There we go, back there. He put this together about funny country song titles. And these are all taken from there, too. I'd rather pass a kidney stone than another night with you. If you really love me, then you'd leave. I like you better before I loved you so well. Babe, you hurt the love right out of me. With eleven on your mind, he's got away with women. He just got away with mine. <laughs> We're so miserable without you. It's like having you here, babe. I'm getting gray from getting blue. <laughs> but if you don't leave me, I'll find someone who will. <laughs> is it cold in here or is it you? Uh, I'm just a bug on the windshield of life. If you want to keep the beer cold, put it next to my ex-wife. <laughs> and if you want to know just how you done me wrong, it's all here in the title of this song. Walk out backwards slowly, so I think you're walking in. <laughs> your teeth are stained, but your heart is pure. I'd kiss you through the screen door, but it might strain our love. Why have you left the one you left me for? It's not the high cost of living, but the cost of living high. Get your tongue out of my mouth, I'm kissing you goodbye. That first thing, give me the kidney stone again, pass. Give me that one. What, what I'd rather that? pass a kidney stone than another night with you. Right, and, and that is known as Zumba. The miracle of language is that it names itself, and everything has a name. And Zumba is just the best name. I've collected about 350 Greek <laughs> rhetorical figures of speech, and that one is a left turn on the verb. We have the first pass of the kidney stone, then pass the night with you. It's a different kind of pass. And just look around here. At Mensa, we validate your parking and your humanity. <laughs> that is Zumba. And the point is, we do validate both. And here we are, and that we can share this. How amazing. Uh, I have another book coming out in October. It's dedicated to Mensa. It's called Challenging Words for Smart People. I think only Mensa's will enjoy it, and I've dedicated it to Mensa, and we validate your humanity.